Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this sort of soft glam spring look for you. It's really simple. It doesn't take very long. You don't have to do lashes. That's all up to you. But if you want to see how to create it, keep on watching. I'm going to start with my eyebrows because I got a new product and I'm going to be using Iconic London Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. That looks like this. I'm just going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B angled brush and I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows first. So first things first, I'm going to use the lighter color and just kind of shape out my brow and blend it in with the spoolie. Also gonna get the top as well with this lighter color. I'm gonna brush the tail up and go in with that darker color now. the top as well. And blend the excess into the other color. Now I'm going to take my concealer brush and this is the A2 by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to take NARS Creamy Concealer and Custard and just fix all the lines up. This stuff is really good. So now I'm going to move on to eyes and I'm going to prime my eyelid as always with Morphe's Translucent Eyelid Primer. Just going to put a little dot on my finger. I just like to pat it on my eyelid a little bit and then blend it in with my sponge. To set this, just grab any translucent powder. I'm going to use Laura Mercier's Translucent. So for this look, I'm going to be using Iconic London's Day to Slip Palette. Looks like this. And I'm going to be using Peaches and Dreams for my transition shade. On this Anastasia Beverly Hills A6 blending brush. color isn't really that noticeable, it's just to help all the other colors blend nicely. Next, I'm going to go in with Bellini in the crease. I'm going to use Makeup Forever's 218 blending brush for this color. I'm just going to use a clean blending brush just to take away any line. I like to go in circular motion because I feel like that blends it out evenly. So next for my lid, on the first half, I'm going to go in with Champagne Chic. And I'm just going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills A2 Flat Concealer Brush. I'm just using my finger. I always pick up that brush and then it just never happens. I'm 
Next for the last half, I'm gonna be using Rags to Riches. And we're gonna blend that in to Champagne Chic. Again, I'm gonna go with my finger. Make sure to get some of that champagne chic and just kind of make sure that they mesh together. Now I'm going to go back in with the moon and just clean up some awkward endings that might have happened when you put this on with your finger. Now for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with Peach Fizz. Sometimes I've noticed when you try and do the eyebrow highlight, it'll create a line between your actual color and your highlight. So I like to just like dab it right where the blend is and it won't create such a crazy line now for my under eye i'm just going to take this morphe s20 pencil brush and take some of that bellini and just lightly blend it under the eye So I'm going to take some of that peach fizz and just kind of drag it along the bottom. Next I'm going to be doing lashes and I'm going to be using Iconic London Flawless Lashes. So I'm going to push my lashes down like always. So next for mascara, I'm going to go in with Better Than Sex by Too Faced. So because I'm not wearing any liner above the lashes, I'm going to go in with Tarte's Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. And I'm going to use the pencil side instead of the pen just to blend the eyelashes into my actual waterline. So I'm going to go underneath and just kind of color against the lash line. And then you're also going to go in the inner corner here, but just underneath just so it looks like it doesn't look like the band just randomly starts so for blush I'm actually going to go in with Morphe's new blush palette and I'm going to go in with Witty and for my highlight I'm going to go in with Morphe's new high impact highlighter in extra I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighting brush. I'm going to go in with this A25 and just blend out in edges. I'm going to go black back in with the blush just because I don't want it to get diluted by the highlighter. So for my nose highlight, I'm actually going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go into Champagne Chic. Gonna get the Cupid's bow. So lastly, I'm going to go in with CoverGirl's new Katie Gloss in Tabby Tees. But first, I'm just going to align my lips with Max Boldly Bear.
Mm, tastes really good. Lastly, I'm just gonna spray my face using Smashbox's Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I also want to thank you for your love and support on all of my videos. You have no idea how much it means to me. I get a lot of questions on my Instagram about how my inner corner and my highlights always look like I'm glowing. And it's because I take pictures really close and I turn up this light super bright. And then it'll, when it takes the picture, it'll like really focus on those colors. So that's my secret. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video.